Have you ever heard of waraji? Waraji are a traditional type of Japanese footwear made from straw or rice. These are the shoes that samurai wore in the old days. Many people know kimono and katana, chomage, but no waraji. Why? Waraji are light, grippy, have lots of cushioning, and are made of the byproducts of rice farming. They are really useful for traveling long distance and can be tied up nice and tight. Unfortunately, despite waraji looking amazingly cool, almost no one wears them nowadays. Perhaps it's because they don't last very long compared to modern shoes, or because humans today have soft skin, which is not used to the touch of their rice straw. Whatever the reason, I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that waraji still have a lot of potential, right? They used to be very popular that there were many craftsmen all over the country. However, nowadays, there are very few people who can make them, sadly. So today, I'd like to introduce you to a rare waraji craftsman, my friend, Mike. Mike lives in the village next to the one I used to live in. So today, I'd like to go to his house and experience making waraji. Okay, let's go. さきおね、え、ここの僕の隣の寝場村のね、え、平屋村っていうね、ところに住む面白い人を紹介します。行きましょう。あ、やっほー。どうも。あ、いいえ、いいえ、いいえ。ありがとうございます。あ、やっほー
So I put on some tabby and then wore my waraji over the top. Somehow I feels like I'm stepping on soft and fluffy soil. We enjoyed taking some photos. After that, we went down the mountain path again. The good thing about waraji is that they're well cushioned, so your feet won't hurt or get too tired. You can even use them on steep downhills without any problems. This is wonderful. After getting off the mountain, we headed for the river. Have you ever stepped into the river and slipped on the stones? Yes, I have too, but it's not gonna happen with Waraji. Mike said, Waraji are at their best in the river. In other words, Waraji do not sleep, especially when wet. Even though it was really cold, Mike actually jumped into the river to show me. Yeah, for sure, it didn't look slippery. I wanted to try it as well, but the river was too cold for me. Sorry, Mike. This year I'm starting a, starting a tourism business in the area. So I'm gonna be doing the, this area, the Ina Valley and the Kiso Valley, doing things like making waraji, and using them out in nature and hiking tours and uh, things like that. What I really want to do is like show people the real Japanese countryside, like something real, something something authentic, something like kind of raw. If yeah, if anyone's interested in that kind of that kind of experience, uh, I'd love to show you around this beautiful area that we are lucky enough to call home. Peace. Yeah. Yo, an Aki dude, you are. This guy is off on a trip. Oh yeah. Going going a trip to, to Europe. Yeah, going to Europe. Be, yeah, going to Europe. He's gonna be leaving uh, the village yeah, just tomorrow. So so sad though. I want to say to you, you gotta stay safe, okay? Yes. Okay, you gotta stay safe. Um, and have a great time. I hope you come back. Yes, if I you, will. If you don't, that's okay. We'll see each, we'll see each other again, but I hope you come back. Definitely. All right. Cool, man. Thank you. Cool. Love ya. Love ya. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. So I introduced Waraji today. What do you think about them? If you're interested, you can also visit Mike's website or his Instagram page. If you plan on coming to Japan and want to see real Japanese countryside, why not consider joining one of Mike's tours? I can definitely recommend it. Okay, so stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye! They're the best, dude. They're the, they're the, they're great shoes. Yeah. If you don't want to slip in a river, there's only one pair of shoes you should buy. Uh -huh. A pair of Wadaji. <laughs> so I'm, uh, maybe you should put on a t-shirt. Sure. <laughs>